Um, well, the best project um, originally came out of uh, some conversations that uh, were taking place between four of the local funders here in Genesee County, uh, including the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation, the Ruth Mott Foundation, Community Foundation of Greater Flint, and our local United Way. And the, the funders had a, a global concern about um, nonprofit sustainability. This was about 10 years ago, in fact, a little bit less than that, when the, they started to talk about ways in which they may be able to support an initiative together that would um, look at the, at the issue of nonprofit sustainability and increasing um, diversification of revenue and other uh, types of um, organizational development strategies that would uh, allow organizations to become more self-sufficient and sustainable over time. And as a result, um, we, we piloted and then subsequently implemented um, a cohort model, uh, which includes a very comprehensive organizational assessment that takes place over um, about six to eight months with a number of, of components, um, very technical tools that are reviewed as well as a, a two-person consultant team that comes in and looks at every aspect of the organization and talks to a lot of people within the agency and stakeholders. So the consultant uh, will, will come in and work with the agency to design a process that works for uh, the agency's uh, timeline as well as the approach that makes sense um, and who should be at the table, helping the organization identify who should be a part of the conversation. Um, on one hand, if you're looking at issues related to governance and leadership of the organization, strategic direction, you may have one group of people. If there are a lot of issues related to staff development and looking at the organizational structure, that could be a different group of people. And so making sure that there's a process that design, design that allows for those who have um, an opportunity to provide input, they really feel buy-in to the process and the approach then organizations following that successful completion of that assessment are then eligible to apply for um, some capacity building grant dollars for two uh, consecutive years following that phase. Well, the consultant pool is extremely important to the model that we've created here in Genesee County. Um, when we looked at what others were doing across the country as it related to capacity building um, and listened to some of their lessons learned about vetting consultants up front, making sure you have the right group of experts within a pool to choose from uh, so agencies have some choices about the approach, the style, the chemistry, and the level of expertise that they're looking for, but also being able to make sure that these consultants have come to the program with a sense of transferring knowledge back to the agencies. And um, so they work with the organization and, and they listen, they spend a lot of what we're looking for too with our consultants is critical listening skills because oftentimes the issues that they've put on paper and that they've articulated as concerns for the organization are just the surface of what may be going on. So the consultants kind of come in as, as forensic scientists, if you will, really needing to watch for a lot of other clues besides what's being spoken at the organization about where there may be some challenges um, that the agency is facing and where there might be some real opportunities for uh, growth and development. The needs of the sector in terms of paying attention to best practices and organizational development issues doesn't go away. So reminding organizations that governance and good governance practices, good leadership practices, good risk management practices, these are all things that continue to have to be paid attention to in times like these. And one of the resources that, um, that the uh, graduates, if you will, have access to is that best staff is only a phone call away if there's a new emerging issue that, uh, that comes up at the organization. We've actually developed a stream of funding uh, called Additional Technical Assistance that provides some just-in-time support 
so the organizations who are willing to reach out for help, which is another lesson learned in developing this trust between funders and agencies and consultants, many of the agencies that have gone through our program will make that call before it's a crisis. In the end, um, they get a lot out of the process and it helps them in the future if they need to go back and look at that same issue. They've built some skills in being able to facilitate some of that in-house. Um, a lot of our organizations who may have gone through a pretty comprehensive strategic planning process through one of our cohorts can then oftentimes go back and self-implement a strategic planning process with maybe a consultant coming in for a day or so to help them grapple with some critical or divisive issues that are, are facing the organization at that time. I think one of the measures of success is that our organizations come back to us repeatedly to let us know the impact that the work has had on their organization over time, not even just while they're in the midst of the assessment or the capacity building phase, but even beyond that when certain challenges or opportunities arise for the organization, how they're able to go back to some of the tools and um, and skills that they developed through their engagement with the cohort model in particular, but even some of our other programs. So that's one way in which we know that it's working. Um, we also know because um, in our interaction with a number of these organizations, there is even in sort of a one-on-one -on -one engagement with the leadership of these agencies, there's often a noticeable difference in their ability to articulate um, what the organization is, what the mission is, uh, who they serve, why they serve, who they serve, and the impact that it's having. And it, and it begins to really permeate across the entire organization where you begin to hear the same message, uh, whether it's a board member, or a staff member, or a key volunteer. And that sort of um, cohesion and, and, and uh, cohesiveness building uh, within the organization is really quite apparent as they go through this process and then beyond. But we also see it in more tangible ways. We see organizations increase the diversity of their revenue streams, um, re-examine their organizational budget and look for ways, um, cost savings and um, other ways to consolidate resources. Um, so th that data tells us that over the three-year process, organizations often um, uh, almost always are increasing their capacity. As we know, oftentimes when we're investing in organizations, we're investing in people. And uh, the fact that the funders in this community have stepped forward to support best um, also has a very empowering message for the nonprofits to know that they're valued, their work is valued, and then on top of that to have the investment of resources to help the organization really um, take its work to the next level. Our work is life cycle based, so we're often looking to move organizations from one life cycle stage to the next, and that requires an investment into systems that oftentimes is not funded through um, program grants, or some funders in some communities don't fund that work at all. So. Um, it's, an, it's an extremely powerful tool that um, has some pretty incredible results for both the community, the agency, and individual funders.